Hey guys, how you all doing? Welcome back for another episode of Chills in the Sky. So last time we went and did, I think, a few of the... We did Ritter Road Munster and I think we were trying to get this back to the uh, librarian. We also went and did the factory part where we had to go chase down Professor... Is it Professor Russell? Yeah, it is. Uh, because he had been kidnapped by the uh, guys, the, um, what do you call them now, Jaegers. And they were being very naughty, so now we've got to run back out of here and, uh, yeah, get back to base. Ah, oh, bollocks. We may as well kill them all, though. See you later. And they should kill that. There we go, nice. And we haven't watched a lot of set. Oh, okay, wait. We need to try and figure out which one it is. That one, there we go. Eh. Third floor. Right, second floor. No, Link Mile, you prick. Divided. Oh no. Whatever will I do? <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Should have done that. Right. We'll just run straight out. I wonder what happens then when we get out of here. Oh, okay, we, we escaped. De, 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 de. Hmm. Well, well, what's wrong? It's nothing. Just felt a little dizzy for a sec. Ah, maybe from when you protected me earlier. That's right. You did get shot, but I thought you blocked it. Just a scratch, no big deal. But, but it's my fault. Listen, I got worse injuries than this from shaving. Now quit fussing and let's just get to back to this. Okay. He defo has been, he's acting all tough. He's acting all tough, but he's really, really fucked. No, whoa, bro! You came from fucking nowhere! You would fucking miss, wouldn't you, Agat? You fucking donkey. That didn't kill you. Wow. Do 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 Time to go back to Zay's. Hmm, don't I know you? Huh? We met you on the way back from Elmo. <laughs> and I appreciate you helping me on my way. I must say that it seems more. Um, wait, seems more than mere happenstance that we meet again on the road. Ha, you might be right. 
By the way, did you make it to the Heart Springs now, Mosa? Indeed I did. But please, there's no need to be for so formal. Oh, but it does seem to be by my meeting, first meeting with you, your friend there. Ah, he seems a bit green around the edges, is he well? Hmm? Mm. Whoa, what's with your face? Uh, I, I get Shut it. I said I'm fine. Ah! Eep! What's wrong with him? One sec. Poison bullet? Joshua thumbed uh, Agate's eyelids back. Not good. His pupils have started to dilate. I think there might have been something on that bullet. You, you mean he's been poisoned? Hmm, that appears to be the case. The pupil dilation could be the indication of some kind of botanical neurotoxin. You're probably right. I can't be absolutely sure, but I think I've, his life may be at risk if you don't get him some help. No! Enough talk! Right now we have to get him to a doctor. Tita, is there one nearby? The central factory! There's a clinic on the fourth floor. Hmm, then please show me the way there. I will carry the young man. Are, are you sure? My body is well suited to this kind of task. Let me handle the heavy lifting. And besides, we appear to be in the same business. We are? You mean, I have yet to introduce myself. I am Zin Fafik? Fafik? Of the Calvert Republican Guild. I am pleased to meet you, Braces of Rebel. Ah! Ah, Zen! Please, pleasure to meet you! <laughs> first things first, we have to perform first aid. It looks to be some unique form of neurotoxin. My usual array of antidotes won't work on something like this. Um, what's going to happen to him? Well, he's a fighter, so I think he'll manage to hold out. But in likelihood, the longer he stays in this coma, the greater the risk of death. Hmm. N no. Joshua? Sorry I took so long. Had to report it into Kilka. She passed the info on to the military, so if anything comes up, we should be find out soon. Okay, thank you. Hey, where's Zingo? Apparently he and Kilka know each other. They had a lot of dis to discuss. I see. Well, they are both Easterns. So, how's he doing? Um, mm, not so well then. Unfortunately, I'm not so well versed in poisons that I can counteract the effects without knowing the ingredients. But Father Vixen might be able to help. Huh? Father Vixen? Um, he's a priest in Zeiss. He's built up a substantial knowledge of medicine by tapping the Septian Church's millennium old archives. He's particularly learned in pharmacology. He may be able to devise some form of remedy to counteract the poison's effects. Ah, I get it. The priest in Rowan is also really good with this stuff. It's certainly worth asking about. It's late, but let's see if we can go into church when that or anything. Uh, okay. That's a poor Agate. Acting all big and hard, and now he's been put onto his fucking arse. <laughs> Do, do, do. Peter, what brings you here at this time of night? Oh, father, please help us save Agat. What do you mean? Tita, calm down a second. Father, you see, Joshua explained Agat's poisoning and details of the poison itself. I see. Hmm, this is troubling. Is there anything you can do? Thankfully, we do have a treatment here at the church for... Vivalent nerve toxins. It doesn't nullify the poison, but it does boost the patient's immune system so that he can better fight off the effects on his own. Sister Kira, you're familiar with the medicine I refer to. I am, but the ingredients. You're out of the ingredients. What do you need? Where can we get it? Zamuria moss is what we've called it. It's a species of bioluminescent plant. It should grow deep in the limestone cave inside the Caldia Tunnel. We've sent braces to collect it in the past. The Caldia Tunnel. We went through there when we came here to Zeitz. This should be a snap. Now let's go find some of this Zumeria moss. What? You two? Yes, father. My friends here are braces. I see. That, might make, that makes perfect... Uh, that makes things much easier. At any rate, go back to the guild and talk to the staff before going to the limestone cave. There might be some reward for Amelia collection trips. I got it. Let's go. Sneak through there. Here we go. Ah, you're back. Zin, I didn't know you were still here. Thanks for carrying Agate earlier. We're in your debt. Haha, <laughs> think nothing of it. Always glad to help you help a friend. So, how is Agate's condition? Well, just relayed what they knew about Agate's current condition and about the Zemiria Moss. Hmm, then he is in greater danger than I had imagined. 
If you need to meet him, ask one moment while I check the information the church supplied. Ah, here we are. It can evidently be found on the northwest area of the Caldea Limestone Cave, at the shore of an underground lake. Northwest Limestone Cave, got it. Let's go. You might as well put it in the notebook. I've heard it said to be the blah, blah, blah. I've heard it said that the monsters in that place are quite strong. The last time the guild dispatched braces to the Gavin Moss, a team of four veterans were sent. F four veterans? Gavin Moss isn't going to be an easy task then. Hmm, in that case. As such, I suggest you take this gentleman with you. Ugh. Hey, can I please finish what I was going to say? Oh, do you not wish to accompany them? No, I didn't say that. Oh, never mind, you're just as frustrating to deal with as ever. You flatter me. Well, it wasn't intended as flattery. <laughs> um, are you going to come with us then? Yes, that seems to be the path to destiny to indicates. I'm setting off for Grand Cell tomorrow, but I can certainly accompany you until then. That's plenty of time, thank you. We appreciate it. Here, excuse me. I don't suppose I could come. Uh huh. I know that sometimes I slow you down, but I get hurt because of me protect uh, pre uh, 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 protecting me. I feel like I've got to do something to help. Tita. Hey, Joshua, what do you say? Can we take her with us, please? Do I have a choice? Okay, Tita. Do you promise to let us take the lead and not do anything rash? I, I promise. That's enough for me. Do you mind, Zen? It's fine by me. Good to have you with us, little one. But thank you, sir. Well, if that's the settled then, let's get to that limestone cave. First, we'll have to take the Caldia Tunnel from the central factory basement. You don't fucking say. Right. I wonder if I can actually report my, uh, what's it, to the librarian really quickly. Do... Is she here? Yeah! Okay. You ain't here! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck fucking you! You ain't even here! Annoying little bastard. Right. Does it even say where to report it back to? Okay. Oh, I don't care. Right, we've had enough of that one. Let's go to B1. Bit, 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 B1. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow, he's like five levels higher than me. Okay, that should be good, though. I guess this is where now Agate might, you know, become similar level to these lot that I've got now. Probably doing a lot of fighting in here as well because, I, if I remember correctly, you don't get your map once you go into here. There we go. Do 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 do. So the Caldia Limestone Cave. Kind of mysterious, don't you think? The monsters I sense inside are ridiculously strong though. They ain't gonna go down without some serious punishment. Eee. Sweetie, if you're scared, maybe you should just go home. You don't have to prove anything. I'm okay. It's scary, but I'll be alright. Besides, we have to get this mute that was a more uh, moss, right? Right, so shall we head out? So uh, it grows in the edge of some underground lake. Apparently so, yes. But that lake is supposed to be the northwest part of this cave. Hmm. We should be actually careful um, as we make our way through. Don't want to lose our bearings after all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we go. Don't 
Tatista doesn't do much damage, but she has a smoke screen, which is massive. Plus 28. Mm, not bad. Pink one. <laughs> Prepare to meet your doom! Plus 28 again, so it's not too bad. <laughs> right, we will fight these little fuckers. There we go. <coughs> See you later, baby penguins. Northwest should be this way. The chest is empty but covered in scratches. It spells out Mr. Tiddles was here. <laughs> Okay, so not that way. Let's go beat this fucker up. Do, 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 do. White penguin, baby penguin, red penguin. Bit a 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 bit <laughs> Time to die! Crit hits as well. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, get missed. Pink Penguin is paralyzed with fear. Right, Miss Flicker. See you later. Boom! That, no, that's close to level up, though. Another fire, so that'll be level up. EP3. Found Nada. Zelch, zero. Yeah! Have I got any of these with EP on? But he has this. A red penguin hiding in the corner there. Ah! You dinguses! Sardine bullets! You've made me mad! Yeah. 
69, thank you. Do 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 Peter should kill it. Bye, nerd. And there's the level up though. Oh, Joshua learned Black Fang. Yes. An empty chest, Scandalous. Do, do, do. Do, do. Do, 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 do. Oh, really, Dad, chase me. Do. What's over this way? It's that chest. Monsters have appeared. Yeah. Right, she is flicker. Flicker, flicker, flicker. Do, 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 do. Call to back up. Huh. Nah, get a fuck. Right, we'll use smoke screen. Ah, oh, I can do it on five of them. <laughs> Diamond dust. That's going to do a lot of damage. No, you can't even hit her, and she's frozen. How does that make you feel like shit? Yeah, that's what I thought. Right, get fingered. Right, we just should kill it. There we go. That's that thing. Let's move out. G Impact. Is that going to be a new weapon for you? No, it's going to be cheated on. It's empty. What deprived individual would do such something like this? Me. Me, me, me. Shit. Hmm. 
I'm kind of guessing where I'm going at the moment. Haha! I guessed right! <laughs> Wow! It's so pretty! Huh, now that's a nice view. Uh-huh, and a cave no less. Looks like we found a cave lake. There's a million moss should grow somewhere around here. Okay, let's get rid cracking. Let's just make sure that we're good for health. Yeah, we are. Hey, look at that! Maybe that glowing stuff is a Samuya moss. Hmm, I wasn't expecting the moss to be so pretty either. Why does it glow? Probably because it has a lot of the components that makes up septium. Come on, let's gather it and make our way back to Zeus. Was that we're all set? Well, let's head back to town and deliver it to the priest. Okay. Hold up. Huh? Ah! On your guard! That's a big penguin. Is that a penguin? An evil penguin. Whoa! Haha, <laughs> I guess that's the rule of the cave lake. I don't think we're getting out of here without a fight. Oh, you wanna bet? Smite him! Okay, did absolutely fuck all, but yes! I'm going to take that crit as well. I'm going to take that crit and I'm going to use it on the big penguin. Wonder breath. Ow. Call for backup, annoying little bastards. That will attack the little penguin. Right, so... Get fucked! 
There we go, now it's just a king penguin. It's time to die, king penguin! I'm not doing enough damage to make this feel, you know, worried. to be a hit. I love this part. Ugh. Whoa! What? Yeah. What kind of bullshit is that? And then he gets another heal like that. That is. You know what? We're going to use Zen's fucking disable. It wasn't bad damage, but... I think I might use Flicker here just to make sure we do kill him. Shit again. Should be able to kill it here. Six that oh my
Here we go, I should kill him. Thank God for that. That took forever. The heal he does with fat burn is really annoying. Now I've seen everything, stupid evil penguin. It it was kind of cute, but still scary. Phew, I guess we drove it off. We shouldn't waste any more time though, let's go before it decides to come back. Hmm, yes, that would be probably be the best. This moss is supposed to go to the church in town, right? Yeah, let's hurry. Right. Time to go back to the church. I'm going to cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chest! The chest is empty! Nefarious! Just an empty! Magnus! 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 Okay. Maybe I am slightly a bit mad. 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 mad, mad madness. <laughs> I am very weird. Do, 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 do. Oh, what a fish am I going? I've got no map to go off. Maybe this way. Maybe this way. Uh, yes, thank God. I was just running around like I was checking. Didn't know where I was going. Let's go save our goods. Let's go save our goods. I love the music in here, um, but I really love the music out of um, the crossbow arc and the, uh, what's it called, Geofront. I think it's so good. Father, we got the Zemiria Moss. You have it? I'm impressed you were able to get it so quickly. Can you use this to make the map medicine? Yes, yes, of course. I need to mix it in with the back. Come with me if you please. The blue and gold consecrated by Septim, the source of all things, abides here. Oh, great goddess, we call on your, your will to shape and purify the power distilled within. It is ready. Here, take this. Of Sovereign Serum. Or Serum. What a pretty colour. Do you drink this? Yes. Mind you, this will not destroy the poison, it will only boost the patient's immune system so it may deal with the toxic agents itself. How very Eastern. Yes, it does share some of its origin with the more esoteric cures of the East. Go, take it into your friend. Thank you. Thank you so much, Father. Didn't know that was your dad. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Do, do, do. Is it the fourth floor? I think it is. There we go. We're back, Doctor. How'd it go? The priest gave us that medicine. Really, I knew he wouldn't let us down. Hand handed over the RV Sovereign Serum. I see this will stimulate his natural immune response. It's worth a shot. Now to get him to drink it. Dr. Miriam used an oral syringe to administer the medicine to Agate. Adios, please. Mm. Ah. 
<laughs> Whoa, why is he screaming like that? It's okay, I think he's going to be fine. What? The medicine is beginning to take effect. It hurts and it's rough on his system, but he'll recover. Haha, <laughs> exactly. This should take him out of any immediate danger from the neurotoxin. Oh, okay. But but he's in so much pain. Yes, and he will be for the better part of the, of the day. But he'll be alright. He's going to pull through and make a full recovery. Yeah! And so Agate's life was saved. Late into the night, Estelle and the others slept in shifts to watch over him. I don't know why I tried to put a David Attenborough voice on then. <laughs> and in the wilderness, there was a wild cheetah at night. Saying this is strange. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Right, I'll stop. Hmm, that's strange. Now, where's the spare towel? Aha! <laughs> uh, I, I get it. He's sweating like crazy. I need to dry him. Mm. Uh, Agate, are you awake? I'll bring you some water. Miss, miss you? Huh? Thank good God, it's there you are. I'm right here, don't be scared. J -j just... Uh, Agate? Tita put her hand to Agate's forehead, confirming his fever. She wiped his brow and laid a cool towel upon him. Gradually, the pain left his face, and his breathing grew less ragged. Soon, all was quiet and calm, and he drifted off into a peaceful, peaceful slumber. You, thank goddess. But, who's Misha? Or Misha? I don't know how you pronounce it. Mishka? I don't know. Do. I am truly sorry for having to bid you farewell. Hey, it's okay. We really appreciate all your help. Are you taking the ship directly to Grand Cell? Yes, there is much I must do. If I weren't expected that, I would gladly remain and do my part to help resolve this kidnapping incident. Forgive me, little one. Don't be silly, you've done a lot for us. Thank you so much. Haha, <laughs> and I appreciate you saying so. The express flight to Grand Cell aboard the Cecilia will be departing shortly. All passengers, please get to the departure gate. Why am I putting on a fucking voice for it? Oops, time to make my exit. Take care, hopefully we'll meet again, fate willing. You betcha. Oh, how long are you going to be in Labille? I couldn't say for certain, but probably until the Queen's birthday celebration. Maybe we'll see you there. Until then, take care. Same to you. Yeah. Bye! Do, 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 do. Now then, the guild to the guild first. Maybe they, they've learned something about the airship from before. Yeah, and they might have some intel from the Royal Armed Forces. What are you going to do, Tita? Um, I think I'm going to look after Agate. Since he hasn't woken up yet, I don't think he should be left alone. Tita, that's fine. Let us take care of finding the professor. I'm sorry. All I ever do is cause trouble for you. Would you listen to this kid? Where's the old spirit? Buck up, sweetie. Go sit this out. I think it's a great idea if you'd stay, up with, stay with him until he wakes up. We trust you to take care of him. Okay. Oh, that's one brave kid. She's so sweet. I'm kind of surprised that she cares so much about a guy with absolutely no manners though. Well, come to think of it, you two are pretty similar to each other. Huh? I have nothing in common with that jerk. How about your tendency to go off half-cocked? Or how soft-hearted you are? He talks like a big jerk, but he always tries trying to protect others. I think that Tita sees that. Oh, I can't really argue with that. Fine, let's just go see what's up with the gold. Until I get up and about, again, we've got plenty we can investigate. That sounds fine. Oh, morning, Kilika. Good morning. And to you both. Has Zen already left? Yes, he took an airliner to Grand Cell some time ago. I wish you could have come to see him off. Speaking of which, do you two know each other somehow? A bit quite some time ago. But that's beside the point. Have you noticed a strange current in the air? The winds are shifting. Hey, no change in the subject. Wait, are we talking about the weather, aren't we? Have you learned something about that airship? Not a thing. 
But I believe there's disquieting atmospheres related to Royal Army mobilising. For one thing, I've sent a message to the Army headquarters at Wasting Fortress, but there's been no response. Secondly, all the mandatory inspections throughout the kingdom have been lifted. What? What's that all about? This isn't about another turf war like with the Sky Bandits, is it? No, it wouldn't, would be strange for them to call off inspections, if that were the case. If they had caught the culprits themselves, surely they would have sent word around. Maybe there is something in the air. In incidentally, I've not been able to contact the intelligence division at Waston Fortress either. And it's possible the Royal Army has some sort of internal issue going on. Some sort of, oh wait, the stuff that Dorothy shot. The picture of those guys in the black wearing the Royal Guard uniforms. So I mention my name? Fuck off, Dorothy! Dorothy! Speaking of the devil, and you've ever heard of Yeah, Beverly. Wow, what what an ordeal! I finally get in touch with my editor's office, and Niall happened to be there. When I told him about giving up my photo quotes to the army, he just about blew his stack. It's so unfair. Which means they haven't given it back yet. Right, I mean, how rude is that? And after I'd gone into the trouble of going to Laceton Fortress to get it back too. Wow, you've got some fire to you. <laughs> well, I guess I have to have some redeeming trait, right? Anyway, I don't have any other option but to just take a picture of the fort for the paper. It does make for a great shot, though. It lights up all pretty at night. You took a pretty picture of the fort? Not to mention, you're supposed to be obtaining permission to photograph any part of the military installation. Come on, it's not like it's that big a deal. Here, take a look. I just developed it. Don't if you place the photo on the counter. You know what? That actually looks brilliant. Hey, that is a very nice, that is a pretty nice shot. So this is Laceton Fortress. Wow, Dorothy, you've really got a good eye for this. Wait a sec, what's wrong Estelle? It might be just my animation, but do you see anything there on the top right? The airship. What? You're right. It's not very clear, but there's definitely a small shadow there. What's it? You've got a sharp eye, Estelle. I mean, I took a picture and I didn't notice that at all. <laughs> well, what can I say? Well, it's just a silhouette. Maybe it's an army ship. No, that's a guard ship. This is not... This is that small ship from before. Before? It's the same silhouette as that ship that the professor was taken away in. Right. Hmm. Wait! What? Hold on just one second. Why would that ship be anywhere near here? This is the Royal Army installation, isn't it? Calm down, Estelle. There are plenty of possibilities to consider before we go jumping to conclusions. Maybe we should go straight to Laceton Fortress, and that's what this is about. What? I see, you intend to put it to them directly, provoke a response perhaps. Do you think that would be a bad idea? Not at all, you have my authorization. This has the potential to be a huge disaster. Whatever might be going on there, this matter must be handled direct delicately. Eep! You're starting to scare me, Kilke. But you're probably right. We have to handle this very carefully. Hey Dorothy, can we have a copy of this picture? Sure. After all, you guys have done a lot for me. Thanks, I owe you one. There we go. If you intend to go to Laceton Fortress, you need to leave via the east entrance and take the Ritter Roadway. When you reach the freeway fork in the road, stay on the northern fork and you'll eventually wind up in front of the fort's main gate. Please use the utmost caution. Roger that. Acknowledged. Why does, why does he always say acknowledged? <laughs> I'm always thinking of fucking, uh, what's his name now? Of, of Green's, um, the, um, not the Ashen the, the Ashen Knights. What's his name now? He always goes, acknowledged. <laughs> Val Valmar. I think it's Valmar. That's all I can think of. Oh, hello. Hello. Now you're going to make me fight that again. Wait a minute. No. Right, I'm gonna fight it. It's not gonna let me through otherwise. Wait, what? Why have we got what? This is not nice. Oh. I'm gonna have to steal this. Um. I'm gonna try to get rid of this one here. Okay, I've. Oh, oh. Um. How many attacks did you want though? I think I might actually die here. 
Joshua's dead now. Fuck! Not now. We're good to go. I got fucked, got rid of one of them. I've got to heal Josh because I think he'll die next if they get a hit off him. I'll try and get rid of all the small critters first. Oh, fuck off, Joshua. Why did you have to miss? Steal that crit, and I'll use it on you. Okay. Messy now for fun. What's going on with you this fight? Hey. 
There we go. Right, we've just got the big one to deal with now. I need to reach your back. He basically recovered all of his health back. <laughs> right. Yeah, he recovers his health every time he attacks me. That's annoying. Knowing how much he I wonder if a dual strike can kill him. Oh nearly. Nearly. Should be able to kill it now though. There we go, finally. Oh. That was a big one. Right, we'll go back to uh, over here now. That took a while to beat that as well. potent ingredient that one took off. Right, we're gonna go rest up at the end. Right, and what I'm gonna do is now guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. But I'm going to go sort out my uh, orb mints and everything as well because I feel like I'm quite getting quite well. I've had the same ones for quite a while now. So I'm going to go and uh, get that all sort of squared off before we start the next episode. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate that. We're making some solid progress. So be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and I'll catch you again in the next episode when we go to uh, the Laston Fortress to go wind up some army people. Peace out. Bye.